I'm here with Coach Deborah Farwell, the Cougar track and field throws coach. Coach Farwell, let's talk about the Cougar men for 2013. What experienced throwers do you have coming back? Talk a little bit about the newcomers too. Well, I have Sam. Well, first of all, let me talk about Kyle Stevens because he's got the most experience coming back. And he is, uh, I, I laugh, he's a three-year red shirt. Um, he's had some pretty interesting uh, injuries, but he is back in full force, and I'm very excited to have him back as a javelin thrower. Uh, he threw 210 for us his freshman year, um, threw 212 out of high school, but threw 210 for us his freshman year and got hurt and uh, just some very strange injuries that he's had and uh, is now back stronger than ever. Um, he trained for three years, um, and he, I think, is going to be a solid contender in the in the Pac-12. He's had great practices lately, and um, he is very anxious to get going again. So I look forward to having him back. Sam Ferencheck, who is a sophomore this year, threw 216 for us as a as a true freshman in the javelin, and uh, he was a Pac-10 placer, and uh, finished 15th at the NCAA regional meet. And he's back and we're getting some technical glitches figured out with him. And uh, I think he's more excited actually to have a, a solid teammate, somebody that he can compete with in Kyle Stevens. Um, in the men's shot put, Matt Wardell um, is coming out of his uh, red shirt freshman year in the shot. And I hope to be able to utilize his skills in scoring some points at the Pac-12 championships. And then uh, Oliver Henry comes back as a Pac-10 uh, Pac scorer, or Pac-12 scorer in the discus. And uh, his training's gone really well, and he's looking forward to a big senior year. Um, I have a very young, young hammer group, but I have a hammer group and uh, they are making some huge strides and I hope to get them in as many meets as I can this season so that they can be a significant contributor to both the Husky dual meet and also the Pac-12 championship. So I've got a couple holes to fill still and I'm actively recruiting and looking for people, but um, those are kind of my strengths this year. Um, in the men's side and um, and you know we've got a few stragglers that fill in for us but in the uh, in the in the uh, in the Husky dual meet um, but I'm just looking forward to getting those guys out there and getting them going okay and what about the Cougar women uh, once again very excited about the Cougar women we've got our javelin crew back uh, you know we lost uh, Courtney Simmons last year and uh, happened to pick up uh, Kelsey Taylor from Natchez Valley She's a 154 high school, 154 foot high school thrower. So she kind of replaces uh, Court, um, not throwing quite as far as Courtney did when she graduated, but hopefully we'll get her there. Um, along with that, we have returner Anna Domko, who was an NCAA All-American for us, went to the NCAA championships, um, finished seventh at the Pac-12 championships. And uh, along with her will be two-time high school American uh, Christine Kirkwood, um, who finished third at those championships last year. So Christine's struggling with a little bit of a back issue, but we are actually making some progress, and I hope to maybe get her to open up in the next couple weeks. Um, she's making progress. She's looking good. Um, and then we have the fill-ins with uh, Selena Ward, who threw 150 feet for us last year. It was a little inconsistent, but this year has uh, made some huge improvements in the women's jab, and um, also Jacqueline Inosco. So we're really solid in the women's jab. Um, Ashley Kenny is back after her uh, her um, redshirt year. She tore her ACL a year ago in July, but she's back and probably stronger than she was before she left. Um, she's having some great throws in training. Um, the, her training throws are probably as far as her competitive throws were two years ago. Um, and we're looking forward to getting her back and um, having her be a strong contender in the Pac-12. She finished, she's placed two out of her three years at the Pac-12 championships. And her and, and, and my goal for this year is to get her to the NCAA championships. And I, her mindset's there. She's five years older than she was. Um, she's strong, um, she understands thing, things, and she's just a very mature thrower right now. So I'm looking forward to um, her contributions to the women's side. Um, still, once again, missing a few things here and there, but those are kind of my strong, my strengths for um, um, this season. And we are, the throwers are so anxiously waiting to get outside. They've been outside probably most of the winter. Um, we stay out of the indoor facility as much as we can, but we've been outside most of the winter and um, we've got some beautiful weather coming up this week.